Hey everyone, I have a huge announcement to make today. I have a proof of the Riemann hypothesis. Uh, and in fact, what I have proved is that the Riemann hypothesis is false. As you know, the Riemann hypothesis is one of the most important open problems in number theory, one of the most important open problems in all of mathematics, so much so that there is a $1 million reward for a proof or disproof of the conjecture. And I am going to disprove it, and uh, I'm going to use this video as evidence that I have done so, and uh, I would like to claim that my that $1 million reward for disproving the Riemann hypothesis. And here is the disproof. As a reminder, the Riemann hypothesis says that in the Riemann set of function, the zeros that are in what we call the critical strip, those complex numbers with real part between zero and one, uh, the conjecture says that all the zeros are actually concentrated on the line with real part equals one half, that all the zeros are in here. And as far as we have found, all the zeros are in fact in there so far. Um, but if there was some other zero that is off of that line somewhere here at some distance from uh, the line equals one half, then the conjecture would be proved to be false. And to do so, I'm going to define a function, which is the key to the proof. Uh, this function is a function from non-negative reals to the real numbers uh, that works as follows. Uh, what we're going to do is go up by imaginary part, and at any x, uh, what I'm going to do is going to add up all the deviations of zeros in the critical strip up to here, all the deviations from uh, the a critical line. So this first zero that we know is on the critical line contributes nothing, but if there was any zero that is off of the critical strip, uh, this much would contribute to this sum. That's what the sum is doing. It's adding over zeros of the Riemann set of function that are uh, of imaginary part up to x, and that the real part is in the critical strip. And for each one of those, I add the contributions. So there are two possibilities for the graph of the function r. One, the Riemann hypothesis is true. There is never a contribution by a zero that is off of the line, and the function is constant equal to zero. Or the Riemann hypothesis is false. There is a first zero that is off of the critical line, and then there is a contribution, and the function increases, and then there might be other ones, and the function will keep adding up those contributions and increase. So you should agree that the Riemann hypothesis is false if this function is increasing. And now we go to a classical book in analysis and look up the definition of increasing function, which is simply that if x is less than x0, then f of x is less or equal to f of x0, less or equal to, which happens for this function because these are non-negative uh, contributions. So we always have that r of x is less or equal to r of x0. So this is an increasing function and therefore the Riemann hypothesis is false. No, this is not a proof of the Riemann hypothesis. Uh, the idea came from this comment. Go check that comment and the video I'm responding to to know where this is coming from. The point is that the definition of increasing is bad.